Right, hi everyone. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick YouTube vid. Uh, it's to do with the second session to do with um, uh, Jess. You did do wonderfully well, considering the subject matter was to do with um, inner dimensions and time travel. I mean, yeah, there was only a little bit of a stumble towards the end when we destroyed the time machine. But uh, I really do feel she did extremely well to be able to, you know, keep us on our toes and to be able to ha handle the whole f the whole thing. You know, it, 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 she increased on her confidence. She seemed more confident with the uh, second session. Uh, was able to think clearly and quickly. Um, uh, considering the you know situations that uh, were happening, uh, it was also <coughs> really funny at times. Uh, like when we were six, so, so, you know, we end up go. Um, Gary ended up going back to the hotel as we in the in the foyer, and uh, Gary went up, you know, um, into the into the hotel room. You know, and there was um, some invisibility cloaks basically waiting there for us. And then the men in black turn up, you know, and uh, basically he ended up, you know, pretty much invisible and he tapped one on the, on the shoulder and then he, he said, I'm going to speak in the in a high-pitched voice. And then the buzzer goes off a second after the typing was so perfect it was actually really funny it's one of those situations you've got to be there uh so uh, that happened um it was also in a universe where the christian church didn't split apart you know it was just one church basically and what happened is so we had we thought oh we got these invisibility cloaks let's freak out a few people so uh we decided to uh uh go to a monastery i believe uh for some reason a somebody we actually know in real life bernie bernie was there you know a few others were there and we thought, well, let's try to see if we can get someone to do the most ridiculous thing. You know, sort of like, almost a bet, really. Um, <coughs> so I tried to freak um, um, Bernie out by uh, basically, you know, trying to get him to sing um, YMCA, well, uh, dressed as a Native American Indian. Uh, a Native American, sorry, and uh, um, basically, we I did freak him out completely, and he was off. He was, yes, he was in the witness protection program as well, so he was um undercover sort of thing. Uh, also, you know, Gary went along a the a lemon route where we got this lemon and uh you know it, this was a uh and we decided you know uh uh to say that that this lemon <coughs> is the pope this is a lemon pope Okay, I had an idea of actually, you know, putting on a, you know, a, 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 um, white blanket thing over it and, you know, just getting, cutting out two little eyes and things like that. It's this quite big lemon. And, uh, you, you know, um, it's actually really quite funny. Because they, um, uh, we did things for them to believe it, believe it, you know, like that, that these, that idea with the blanket and that, and uh, you know, floating in midair and a holy symbol in another hand, and uh, you know, uh, this is the voice of God, 
Um, yeah, uh, and uh, th this lemon is your new pope. And uh, you know, we actually, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> ended up splitting the church basically. We're on the verge of splitting the church because now we got them believing in it whole. Hook, line, and sinker. Uh, I mean, the the he put just a little. He he end up putting a little bit of water onto the lemon. Uh, something about oh uh, well, um, uh, you've got to work on uh, on things, and um, you know, I won't talk again, and uh, and until till you're you know with worship and stuff like that. It was actually funnier actually hearing it than uh than um than you know me we saying it out because it just loses some of the translation. Uh, also you know there was this banter because Chris was there as well. Chris Williams was there as well. Another you know another group member, and uh, it was something like uh well well you split. The the Catholic Church into two. And then it was sort of like, well, I was bored. I needed something to do. And it was just the way the exchange was was just so like funny. But um, you know, I don't want to cause anyone any offence at this. But it was sort of like, you know, if you are religious, I do believe that um that um if there was a God, which you know I'm agnostic, or whatever they call it anyway, don't really believe, but um as such, but um, uh, it definitely have a sense of humour. Uh, but uh, yeah, it it was just quite fun. Um. You know, we did go uh, quite over the top with it, you see. But she handled it really well. You know, when he went back and tried to, uh, 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 you know, do a thing where, um, you know, he'd do his, uh, his floating uh, lemon trick and that. And, uh, you know, this is the voice of God. Um uh, we want you to eliminate all the men in black sort of thing. Um, you know, we find out later on they are actually part of the Illuminati, the uh, men in black was. And all we had to do really was get Jess into number 10 Downing Street, you know, just change things so that she go into politics and, uh, you know, she gets, you know, into number 10 which stops the war from happening. So nice and simple as such. It, to be honest, I don't know how she was able to, you know, keep things going fluidly. And, you know, to be able to get through that uh, uh, a, a few hour session, you know, it was just, well, it was actually really quite commendable. And I mean, she did an absolutely amazing job. This is her only second session. And she dealt with the one of the most toughest subject matters, really. Actually, it's, it, it, it's sort of like jumping in too deep ends. And that's what she basically did. And, uh, you know... She was able to handle pretty much everything that uh, we threw at her, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, it was a really good, uh, really good game. Actually, you know, well, Chris ended up being a martial arts expert in, in this dimension, uh, you know, which uh, we got into a bit of trouble because of our antics earlier. So, uh, yeah, we... He wasn't very happy, so he did use a little bit of martial arts through us against against some or something. Um, end up, you know, my ear being like that, and uh, you know, so um, that happened. Um, I ended up having to find Gary because we were in the we were taught to go into the toilets, um, which um. 
to wait for him because we had a meeting there anyway. Um, we ended up, uh, you know, as he was explaining to his wife, which he's got a wife in this one, uh, we ended up breaking a window and then Gary was hiding behind an, uh, uh, a door. And that, so um, we went off, as, you know, and at the end, cut long story short, we went went off to the Stagen House, which had a somewhere secret behind the book bookcase, a secret room, and that uh, highly sophisticated the computers a lot, you know, and uh, would you know needed to fix, you know, the two uh, uh, the the timeline basically and to be honest uh, I did get a bit my, my head was spinning slightly and I forgot which which um, dimension that uh, Jess died in which is the alternative dimension it's sort of like uh, hang on no, no, sorry is it that one or is it that dimension of course it would have been but yeah it <sighs> It was really actually a pre- impressive. I actually should have given her a round of applause to be able to, you know, she came so close to outwitting Gary as, as well. Ever so close, really. She came up with some uh, really good things, sort of like um, the time machine thing it has got some in it, so it's always being tracked. And uh, they know where it is at all time, and is being observed pretty much at all times. Also, when uh, when um, you know, searching the net, she she did say to Gary, "Look, this is too broad. Can you um narrow it down a bit?" So she's a good call. So she had some. Uh, she was spot on on her calls, definitely. And overall, it was a lot of fun. It was actually, you know really funny because of uh, you know all that was happening as 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 well and you know I felt sorry for Jess in some ways because you know because what was being thrown at her I mean seeing this was her second session you know and you know it's not so not so easy what what she was the what she was dealing with and she was just she did an amazing job with it all and uh yeah a really great game i believe the next game will be uh sort of just checking the amount of time that's passed the next game i think uh, gary is going to take over by the same of things i'm not sure actually at the moment i'm sure what's going on i don't know when Jess will be running the uh, any dots who yet. I'll, I'll find that out soon. It means it's nice for me to have a break as well. So um, <coughs> what I'll be doing in the meantime, when I'm feeling up to it, is actually uh, um, you know get the back campaign background for my game sorted and just flesh out the background stuff and. Uh, you know, any future coming upcoming events to sort out and that. So I got quite a bit there. I know Jeff is another one that uh will be doing some up to the Pathfinder. We got uh Chris, Chris Whiting, he will be doing Traveller at some point. So uh yeah, we've got a good good solid group and uh I think Jess is now more than ready, if she can handle that, I mean, she's better than me, honestly, when I first started off with the, you know, black box set, Dungeons Dragons black box set, I mean, she didn't have it written down, I would have, you know, back then would have read through it, and then went through it like that, uh, this was purely up here. It was purely, you know, in her head. And as I said in the previous video, it was just a D6. That was a, uh, uh, to, you know, she plus one bit because these, um, uh, 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 Chris had a summer in his eye, a lens in his eye, so you could see the people that use his invisibility cloaks. 
you know so uh yeah it it was it was really really great uh, if she could handle all that um uh all that she handled in that second half especially she could handle any game out there and i think she'd be fine even i would say i think she'd even be pretty good running the paranoia game as well so i think she'd be really devious with that actually to be honest and to be able to keep us on our toes at all times so yeah overall uh, really really great job what she's did um Hopefully she'll be doing it for a long time because, you know, she's, what, 24? So, yes, yeah, still pretty young. And, uh, you know, she should be, you know, hopefully, you know, still playing, you know, when she's my age. But, yeah, re- really great job, Jess. Um, can't think of too much more to say on it, you know. It's only, yeah, nothing much to say on it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, great game, and uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.